and welcome back to Aloha Jen's beauty blog. For those of you that are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jen and I am a licensed esthetician for over 10 years. So normally we talk about skincare and, you know, makeup here and some, you know, wellness, but today we're going to talk about hair that's still in beauty, right? I picked up a new hair tool and I have ever since I posted this picture on Instagram of the hair tool that I picked up, which is the T3 micro airbrush duo. I've gotten so many of you reaching out to me about how I like it because they do have a sale right now, 20% off. It ends on December uh, 12th. So that is Sunday. So I went ahead and used this today and I wanted to give you guys a first impression because I've had so many reach out about it. Okay, so first, let's go over the brush, and then I'm going to tell you my first impression, and I'm going to compare it here in this video to the Dyson Airwrap. Now, I do have a demo of me using the T3 Micro Airbrush, and I did use it with the attachment that's on it now, okay? So if you guys want to see this in action, then um, stay tuned for that demo. So I'm going to detach that. So when you get your t3 micro it comes in this box okay real simplistic packaging the blow dryer wand comes here this is the section for the paddle brush and then you have the round brush here and then the cord is tucked underneath and then you come with a little um instruction manual and then you have a quick card that tells you the correct um, temperature settings to use on your hair okay so now, with this technology, let me read you the technology. Um, by the way, I used it today, and I have to tell you, I absolutely love my hair. I can't tell you how much I love it, okay? So there's a teaser for you. <laughs> okay, so it says, T3 Airbrush Duo, uh, Interchangeable Hot Air Blow Dry Brush. It has the T3 Ion Flow technology, which um, ions help smooth out the hair and help with frizz. I'll read it to you here. So T3 Ion Flow technology features a powerful ion generator and a smart microchip. T3 Ion Flow technology delivers an ion-enriched airstream and precise digitally controlled heat for polished frizz-free results. And yes, it does. And that is part of the volume boost um, technology that I'm going to talk to you guys about. So with this, we have the round brush, which has, it's a round brush for bold, voluminous looks, um, smooth grip bristles, uh, for optimal tension and styling control. And then we have the paddle brush for sleek, straight locks, which also have the smooth grip brush bristles. <laughs> so with this um, blow dryer wand, we have the power button, we have a cool shot button, we have a three air speeds, we have five heat settings, and then we have the volume boost option. And then your fan here is at the bottom. And you have a nice long cord. And I have to tell you, I love that all T3 tools come with this really nice Velcro option to put around your um, cord for when you're not using it. It makes it nice to store and the cords don't get as tangled, okay? So cool thing about this Airbrush Duo is that um, it remembers the last heat setting that you used, okay? The volume boost option. So when you turn on the volume boost, it turns on the ion technology. So you'll get more of a voluminous look. If you like more of the sleek look, that's when you would turn on the volume boost or turn off the volume boost. Okay. So if you want more of a sleek look, you turn off the volume boost. If you want more volume and you're more, a little bit more curl, that's when you would turn on your volume boost. So when you turn on the volume boost, it does not have that ion technology in there, but however, you do have the ceramic technology from the brushes, okay? And the brushes aren't really light. They're kind of a little bit weighty, but it's still easy to use. It doesn't make my arm tired or anything. This actually um, helped my style time. It speeded, speeded up, by the way. So this is the, the handle and 
they the the heads um snap on just like the dyson air wrap okay but this one you just snap it and then you give it a twist and then to take it off you have a button right here untwist it and pop it off okay so when you use this tool it says that you should make sure that your hair is 80 percent dry so you do have to do a breath blow dry and when i do my breath blow dry i just make sure that i really pay attention to my roots because as you see like you can get to your roots but not as good okay and my roots do take a little long, a long time to dry especially in the back in the middle and so you do a rough blow dry. I like to do about 70, 80% dry. Um, I did see in some videos that some did use this as their blow dryer to blow out their hair. So you can use it for that as well. I haven't tried it yet and I will and I will report back to you. All right, so with this, you get the two brush heads and you get the handle. So if you want like a nice round brush volumizing blowout, you use the round brush. I love the size of this too, by the way, this is like the perfect size for me for my blowout. And then you have a paddle brush for this smooth, sleek look. And I love that this paddle brush has these little combs on the side to help smooth out your hair. Now, the cool shot is an option. So I have seen some people do a curl with using the volumizing brush. So you can go through your hair once you get the styles, um, like the curl, Right before you let it go, you can press the cool shot or some people do go over their hair right after they get the look that they want and then use the cool shot to set the style. However, I didn't use that, but I will play around with it. So this is what you get. Um, I picked this up when T3 had their Black Friday sale. I think I paid 120 bucks for it. I think I got 25% off. T3 right now is having a holiday sale and it ends on December 12th and you can get 20% off. So if you're interested, it's a great deal and you will get free shipping too, by the way. All right, so there's the T3 tool. Now, I also have the Dyson Air Wrap, okay? I have the Dyson Air Wrap Complete. And I really thought that that tool was just like the bee's knees, guys. And I have to tell you, since my hair is getting longer, I am just not loving that tool as much. It's taking me longer to smooth out my hair. And my hair is like not smooth, it's frizzy. No matter what attachment I use. The cool thing about the air wrap is the curl option, right? You can use the barrels to curl your hair. However, it is a major pain in the tail to do. I don't have the patience for it. So what I use the air wrap for, are for basically these two attachments, oh, and the blow dryer option, because I use that to blow out my roots before I go in with one of these. I do not use this tool very often, nor this one. I don't even use this one. This one does nothing for my hair. What I don't like about the Dyson Air Wrap attachments are, for one, um, it is plastic right in through here. There's, you don't have that heat, that true heat source like you do with um, the Airbrush Duo. This is ceramic here. And then also it's not, you don't get any tension to smooth out your hair with these, okay? When my hair was shorter, these were perfectly to, these worked out great to style my hair. And just, just lately, now that my hair has got some major length on it compared to last year, that I am having issues with it. Like I said, it's frizzy. My hair feels damaged after I'm using this. Okay, so with the volumizing brush, as you can see, the bristles are pretty far apart on here. I can't remember if I showed you this already, but what I love about the um, T3 Airbrush Duos is that you have these close grip smooth um, bristles and they really grip the hair and give you some good tension for a nice smooth blowout, okay? This, I have to put my own tension on it and I still cannot smooth out the waves in the middle of my hair. It just, I just do not like it anymore. I'm really thinking about breaking up with this, this hair tool because I don't use the barrels, okay? Um, you know, one thing is with that tool and for the price, they should have included the longer barrels um, for creating curls. I mean, it's just kind of sucks that you have to go out and buy new barrels to use with that. The shorter ones, I did try them and it doesn't give me the curls that I like. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. 
And also, okay, I have to mention this. So with the Dyson air wrap, the way that air flows through here, it blows the hair in different directions. So if you have layers, they go up. If you have short hairs, it goes up. You just can't seem to get like that smooth cuticle. And you know, one of the tips and tricks for when you get your hair blown out by your stylist is you notice that they point their blow dryer down because it's smoothing the cuticle. With the Dyson Air Wrap, the airflow is so strong that it just blows the hair all over the place and makes it um, frizzy. With the Air Wrap Duo, I did not experience that, okay? So I used it on the heat setting of four. I did pop it up to five. It was just too hot for my hair. So I popped it back down to four and I used it on the highest blow setting and it didn't blow my hair all over the place. And I got this nice, smooth blowout from it. Ugh. This device, as a first impression, I am in love, okay? This, I would have to say, <laughs> is right up there with one of my best finds that I have found in 2021. I wish I would have purchased this when it first came out. It is very new, but I absolutely freaking love it. So if you are on the fence and deciding to get this tool, I highly recommend it. I will tell you that the, the handle does seem large, but it's not awkward and it's really, really light, okay? Um, I mean, I, I, don't, I have like medium hands and I didn't have any issues using this. My arms didn't get tired or anything like that, but I absolutely love this tool. Um, so going forward, this is how I'm going to smooth out my hair. And one other thing I wanted to point out with the Dyson Airwrap is when I do use this to blow out my hair, it doesn't do anything for my front. My front looks horrible. I have to go in with my flat iron to go smooth it out, okay? Because I don't get a good style from it. And it's just the technology that's in this. Yeah, Dyson says that it does monitor the heat, but I just think it's just way too much heat and way too much air that you can't get a smooth, proper blowout with the air wrap. Now, I do love my Dyson Supersonic blow dryer. I love that blow dryer. And I also love my Dyson Corel hair straightener. That is one of the best hair straighteners I've ever used. It is pricey, but I absolutely love it. Now, I love T3 styling products. I used them back in the day and I had an old T3 blow dryer. It was their travel one. I love that blow dryer. It died on me, so I bought another blow dryer, which you see in my demo video. So I have that. I keep it in my spare bedroom because I got the Dyson Supersonic blow dryer. Well, however, I did try my old T3 blow dryer today and I absolutely love that blow dryer too. It With their technology, with their ion technology, it's really, um, it keeps the health of your hair. I find so more so than the Dyson actually. And I think I might be going back to using my T3 blow dryer for when I rough blow dry my hair versus my Dyson because it just felt like it made a big difference with the ions in there, okay? I hope I'm not rambling too much here and I'm, I'm making sense, but yeah, so I'm breaking up with my air wrap and meet my new boyfriend. <laughs> so um, I love this tool so much um, and T3 is still having their sale. And back in the day when my hair was really long, I used to have hair like all the way down to my bum guys. And I had layers and everything and I love my hair with layers in it. And one of my favorite ways to style my hair is with hot rollers, okay? I love the way it curls my hair and it's just less time because I have a lot of hair like I've mentioned before and it takes a long time to blow dry it and style it and sometimes I don't want to sit there for 25-30 minutes putting curls in my hair, okay? So I ordered the hot roller set so look for a video on those to come. Also I wanted to tell you guys that um, this did cut down my style time. Usually when I do the air wrap um, you know, blow drying out my roots and then going through and smoothing out my hair. It takes me like 25, 30 minutes. This took me total in time for everything, 20 minutes and it'd probably be faster, but I was filming that demo too. So yeah, so love, love all the way around. Highly recommend it. First impression. Yeah, I say go out and get it if you, whoops, 
if you're interested in it. <laughs> All right, so I'll test out the paddle brush um, for you guys and I'll report back to you on this. Um, I may do a demo of this too, I'll let you guys know. So my next video before I, you guys go into the demo is um, I do have my Black Friday haul, which this is one of it and I was gonna save it for that video, but I got so many of you reaching out to me wanting to know about this um, tool. Um, so I'm thinking about doing that. I'm just waiting for two more packages to come in, which they'll hopefully be here on Friday. So I'll do that with you guys. I don't really have that much, but it's fun to see and you guys can see what's coming down the pipeline. Also, I have found my perfect device routine and I am in the middle of filming the demos for that. So I'm going to introduce you guys to my new device routine and I've been doing this for the last couple weeks. I don't know if you guys can see a difference in my skin, but I am so in love with my skin right now. The way it's looking from my skincare down to my device routine. And I wanna share that with you guys because I think it's gonna be really helpful. I've totally completely changed the way I perform my device treatments in the sense is I'm not doing a bunch of devices on the same day. I'm breaking up these treatments and I'm seeing a bigger difference in my skin. And I know it's going to be so helpful to so many of you out there. All right, guys. So before I keep rambling on here, you guys are going to go into the demo. If you like this video, please to make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that notification bell um, to get uh, notifications and hit that subscribe button. Okay. I will see you very, very soon. I love you all and enjoy that demo. Mwah, mwah, mwah. See you soon. Hi Bye. everyone and welcome to the demo of the T3 airbrush duo. So with this airbrush duo, you have to rough dry your hair first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll probably speed through this process, but your hair has to be like they say 80% dry before you use it. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and comb through my hair really quick. I have a white tooth comb here and I'm gonna put the product in and I'm gonna show you the product that I'm gonna use. And this is my first time using this. So um, hopefully this demo comes out okay. I'm a little bit rusty at filming hair videos. Okay, so now that I roughly dry through my hair, what I like to do is I like to suction it off when I apply my product because I have a lot of hair, guys. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Olaplex number no. six. This is the Bond Smoothing Cream, and then I'm gonna combine a couple drops of the um, number no. seven bonding oil. This is my favorite styling combination whether I wear my hair natural or um, smooth it out. The only thing is sometimes the um, bond smoother is a little bit tough to get out. So I'm gonna use about this much. This is gonna be for the bottom half of my hair. And I'm gonna take two drops of the oil and I just cocktail it in my hand, okay? I'm gonna run it through my hair. I'm gonna make sure I pay close attention to my ends because that's really what I need to protect as I'm trying to grow it out long. Okay, now I do still have some product in my hands and I'm gonna take the next session or section and I'm just gonna do this little piece here in the front last. So, and I'm not gonna take quite as much this time, this much. I use a lot of hair product. A couple drops of oil, cocktail it, and run it through my hair. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the rest of what's on my hands and run it through this top section here. Hopefully it's enough, I think it is. Sometimes I um, misjudge on how much product I use and I use too much. So, and then I just take my comb and I run it through my hair, okay? 
to make sure I distribute that product evenly throughout my hair. You guys, look at how long my hair is. It's so crazy, right? I always I'll probably say that now because I'm so shocked that I have long hair now. And it's past my shoulders, almost down to the middle of my back, which is my bra line. Woohoo! Okay, I'm just gonna give my hands a quick rinse and then I will blow dry. Okay, so I didn't lug in my um, Dyson blow dryer, but I do have a T3 blow dryer. This was my blow dryer before the Dyson. I bought this off uh, QVC like years ago. And um, before this, I did have the travel size T3 blow dryer and I loved it. And that's the reason why I repurchased this one because that one died. But this is my guest bathroom blow dryer. So I'm just gonna go and rough dry my hair and I'm gonna put it on the lowest setting. I'll probably move it up to the higher with the heat set right in the middle. I'm gonna go up higher. So I'm probably gonna fast forward through this because you guys will not be able to hear me talk while I'm blow drying my hair. And then you can just see how I rough dry my hair, okay? rough blow drying my hair. Um, I have to say I haven't used this blow dryer in years, like five years, and I actually really, really like it. I feel like it gives me sort of a better blowout than my Dyson uh, Supersonic. Like I love that the airspeed is actually not as fast as the Dyson Supersonic. I feel like I get more control over my style. So hmm, interesting. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I like to go through my hair to make sure I comb out all my knots, okay? And that way it leaves for less damage and tangles as you go forward through your style, okay? And what I'm gonna do is now that I have bangs, which I am having the hardest time trying to figure out how to style these bad boys, okay? So I'm gonna put these in their own separate clip just like this, well, probably clip it up a little bit more differently, but yeah, um, I kind of wish they were a little bit longer because I cannot style them like my hairstylist and it's driving me bonkers, okay? Next, what I like to do is I like to divide my hair in sections and I usually do it in three sections. So I'll do this top section and I clip it Okay, now I'm going to use the volumizing brush um, for this demo. That's what I use for my Dyson Airwrap when I blow out my hair and when I like to wear it smooth. So I really want to see how this compares. Um, I'm thinking about breaking up with my Airwrap because I feel like as my hair is getting longer, it's not really giving me that smooth of a blowout because like this doesn't have a lot of tension in it. Um, the volumizing brush with the Dyson doesn't have a lot of tension. Um, and I, my hair is naturally wavy, curly, and it doesn't get my hair as straight as what I like it to. And I have to put a, a lot of additional tension on it. Um, and I just feel like the air is kind of damaging my hair with the volumizing attachment. Now with the curls, that's a whole nother story. Now this is the paddle brush. So this is gonna be if you want a smoother, sleeker style. I'm not going to use this today, but I do like the design of this. And what I love about them is that they have these bristles on it, which helps smooth out the hair. 
additionally and give you um, more tension, okay? And that's really important when you're trying to smooth out your hair when you have naturally wavy or curly hair. So here is the dryer portion. Now I have seen some people use this as a blow dryer to blow dry their hair. So that is an option for you. However, mm, I haven't tried it yet. Okay, so you're gonna snap this on and what you do is you have a twist and then here's your unlock button, okay? So your power button is here in the back and then we have a cool shot. And then we have your fan speed, your heat setting, and then you have the volumizing boost, okay? So if you turn the volumizing boost on, it turns off the ions, okay? So it will give you more volume. Now, the ions, from what I understand, give you more of a smoother, sleeker look to your hair. So I'll try some sections. First, I'm gonna try it with the volume boost off, and probably when I get to the front more, I'll turn it on. And then the cool shot you use, like say if you're trying to do a curl with it, what you do is after you release that curl, or before you release it, once you get the style that you want, you can cool shot the hair so it will hold the style. And it says for um, my setting that I should use between three and four. So let's start it at the um, highest power. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and you guys aren't gonna he hear me. So I'll leave this um, at a slower speed, but I might eventually speed this up just to let you know. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. Full speed, and it's already at four, okay? And the volume boost is off. So let's go for this.
Okay, so here is my finished style. And I have to tell you, I am so happy with this product. Definitely was the best purchase I've made for Black Friday. And I'm putting it up there for 2021. So I have been using my Dyson Airwrap for almost a year and a half now. Well, a year and a half, almost two years. And I never get this smooth of a blow dry with it. And never, my hair always looks really frizzy with it. And I go in with my flat iron after. And with this T3 Airbrush Duo, I do not have to do that. And I'm able to style my bangs so nicely, guys. I'm super impressed with this as a first impression. If you were thinking about it, I say go run and grab it, especially for the sale. Now, I cannot wait to use this attachment. And for me, having my naturally wavy hair, it's really hard for me to get the wave out in the middle with the Dyson Airwrap um, volumizing brush. Even when I pull at it myself, I just don't get the right tension. And the bris bristles on that are really far apart compared to this. This has my hair on it. The technology in this, I think, is way better than the Dyson Airwrap. What I notice, like, even on the highest speed setting, my hair is not blowing all over the place, okay? It's, it's keeping it so I can still keep my hair smooth versus it looking frizzy. So I'm in love with this. So happy I purchased it, and um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you very soon, okay? See you soon, bye. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day.